All right, welcome to Creator Hardware and it's new server day. All right, so everything on this table except the Silverstone case was bought on Cyber Monday. So I got deals on pretty much everything. Probably are gonna be gone by the time this video goes up, but we're gonna talk about the parts and what I'm gonna use this actually for. Now the Silverstone case is a 2U rack mounted server. So let's talk about my use case for this server. I'm gonna be installing Proxmox and virtualized TrueNAS core. What I'm gonna be doing with it is video assets for video editing for my two channels. Because I'm editing off of my Unraid NAS, I'm putting a lot of load on those spinning disks and I wanna to try to alleviate that because I'm getting a lot of reads and writes putting everything on the NAS. So this is going to be for video assets to edit videos for this channel and my main channel. My Unraid server has like over 12 terabytes on it already and I don't wanna wear out the drives prematurely so I'm going 100% SSDs. My operating system is gonna be on this one terabyte SP Gen 3 M.2, one terabyte. Now this is way overkill but this was really cheap and if it dies, who cares? So also gonna, my storage on the, the server is gonna be these one terabyte SP, one terabyte SATA SSDs, and we'll set it add up in TrueNAS. So get subscribed if you wanna see me struggle with setting up Proxmox and TrueNAS, cause I've never done that before. I've only set up an Unraid. So let's get into the rest of the components. Now I'm using a Z490 Tomahawk. For processing power, I am going 10th gen Intel, four core, eight threads, i3, it's got, should have plenty of power for what I need, and it's got an integrated graphics card. Now, everything else on this table I bought through Amazon. This, I had to go through Newegg, ew. Amazon did not have 10th gen with integrated graphics. All they had was the f -SKUs. I didn't want to have, you know, no video out, so I went to Newegg, got this, and the motherboard. Now, the motherboard is overkill, but it was cheap. Uh, it was one of the cheapest motherboards that I could get for 10th gen that, well, <laughs> wasn't uh, crap. Now the case supports three 80 millimeter fans. I'm going with Noctua on this one because Be Quiet's weren't available. They were about two weeks out. Now the biggest overkill in this system is the power supply. You know, this server may or may not stay up, you know, together, who knows in the future and I wanted something that was good. And well, good meant not what I could find in, in time for this video. So I just said, screw it and got a Corsair 850RM. Way overkill for what I need. You can get way cheaper, but it was what I can get and I can always use this for something else if I tear this server back down. Memory, 16 gigs of DDR4, the Vengeance Pro from Corsair, low profile and 36 speed, which I didn't realize my other server is at 32. <laughs> so, uh, oh well, Intel runs on 36, so it'll be fine. So let's get into building it.
right, as you can see, everything is working. I've got a keyboard hooked up to it. I'm capturing this through uh, my capture card on my capture PC. So, not familiar with this uh, clock settings. None of that. DM VRAM frequency. Put it at 3200 just to safe on Intel. Board settings. I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff till I say exit. Changes and reboot. Yep, make sure it reboots. I only have my faces on the pic on the screen because <laughs> trying to show you the BIOS. Okay, we're back in the BIOS. Status. All of our drives are showing up. I'll make sure I get my face out the way. So all of our drives are showing up. We're good to go.